Howdy ho! Today we are going to be taking a look at the weird side of YouTube again. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually not that weird. Um, it's this young man, I guess from overseas, who apparently made it his duty to let black women know why he doesn't find them attractive. And guess what? He's not even black. How dare he speak on our issues? It is what it is. People are entitled to their opinions. And this is actually kind of interesting to me because I know that it's not too common nowadays. I mean, so many people are divesting and, and seeking people from other races and feeling quite comfortable. There are more people like me, you know, mixed breeds running around. So, you know, I'm, I'm just curious as to why this guy says that he's not into black women. So let's go ahead and check this out. Guys. This is the reason why men don't want to date black women. If you're watching this and you're a black woman, listen carefully, okay? It's not racism. I'm not racist, my friends aren't racist, I'm speaking for all men, they're not racist, right? It's nothing to do with racism. It's to do with being masculine and aggressive. No guy wants to date a woman who's so masculine and aggressive. The average woman, the black American woman, is 180 pounds. Man's coming like Israel Adesanya, middleweight UFC champion. I don't want to date Israel Adesanya. 180 pounds. That's average, that's crazy, meaning more than half of the black American women are above 180. They're coming like Brock Lesnar. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's just coming for all of us right now. I'm sorry, because I'm a little on the thick side myself. Now, granted, I just had a baby, but I was always a little on the thick side. You know, if you check back to my day one video, I've been thick. But this is kind of offensive because it's just like one of those things where, I mean, I don't know, like, not every woman who is 180 pounds is fat looking, you know, number one. And two, depending upon your height, you could be considered, you know, well proportioned. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're five feet and 180, you know, probably not. But if you're like my height, and you're like 5'11", 180, you know, you're probably more along the lines of mm, plus size, but not not morbidly obese certainly not even obese at that point you're just overweight according to bmi standards and i mean i i guess that's what he's saying he's not into overweight women and he's not into the masculinity part we've talked about that on this channel i will definitely link a video that i directly talk about black women's masculinity in the description so be sure to check that out but that's defensive i don't know but i'm gonna hear him out okay and the problem is, is they're looking up to people like Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion. Cardi B has literally been on interview saying multiple times how she's drugged people, stole their money, done all these horrible things. And you have all these black women saying she's a queen, she's a queen. The problem with so many of these black women is they're so fat and bulky, right? And they're acting like, why am I not being treated like this European model? Because you're not a model. It's nothing to do with your color. It's just, she's a beautiful model. She looks amazing. You are massive. Oh, but I'm big boned. Look, black people have great genetics. They're very strong. But the problem is with black women is it just makes them go so crazy and psycho and they want to beat everyone up and they become so aggressive relax no one's trying to take your chicken oh no he didn't he did not just sit there and say relax no one's trying to take your chicken oh i don't know who this guy is but black women on behalf of all of us we need to come together and make videos against this dude because this is just this is such bull crap now don't get me wrong i do realize that there is a stereotype we have talked about on this channel many times especially with the fact that i have reacted to so many kevin samuels videos and he pushed for all women to be like a size four or below <laughs> but like it's just one of those things where i don't know if i'm just offended by it because he's not black and i mean i guess i get like why so many people come at me like oh you're mixed so you shouldn't be saying anything but guys i'm blacker than this guy like it shouldn't even be offensive like i'm black at the end of the day this guy is straight up non-black he's some kind of other race we'll just call him other i have no idea what he is he could be white he could be arabic possibly but whatever he is he's very rude and he's clearly never gotten to know a black woman one-on-one -on -one. he's just probably going off of a lot of stereotypes but I mean, I get it. Like, at the end of the day, as far as the masculinity and the aggressiveness, that I can agree with. Uh, black women tend to be some of the most vocal women that you will ever meet. Um, and uh, probably the most masculine, just based on some of the traits that we see. I mean, we're hypersexual and, you know, quick to fight, quick to anger, quick to cuss you out and get you told. 
That, I mean, I totally understand. And then, you know, the, the overweight thing, it's like, I can't say anything about any of this, but it's coming off like racist. The fact that he just was like, relax, nobody's trying to take your chicken. Like, and I just had chicken too. Like, that's so offensive. <laughs> like, you guys eat chicken too. If he is Arabic and if he's white, no one's trying to take your like freaking green bean casserole. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what do you guys think so far? But there's a few more seconds left. Let's hear it all the way through. You just need to relax a minute. That's why people don't want to date you. It's not because of how you, it's not because of your skin color. It's nothing to do with racism at all. Read the whiteboard if you're getting confused. These are the problems. Masculine, aggressive, not racism. It's nothing to do with racism. If any of you black women want to debate me, you're more than welcome to come to the pond. I will debate you live in this pool, in my kayak. You can be sat there and I will tell you the exact same things. But if you're as big as Brock Lesnar, then you can't come. But I wouldn't mind debating that guy because on the one hand, I get it, like as far as the masculinity stuff goes. We've talked about that. Like I said, many times on this channel, we've, we've highlighted some of the behaviors and I've been speaking to black women directly for a couple of years now. Like, yo, ladies, we have got to get stuff together and we have to be uh, a likable person for our men to stop wanting other women of other races you know what i'm saying but as far as you know him saying that um you know the majority of black women are like comparable to wrestlers and mma fighters and stuff like that part i mean yeah some of the some of us are overweight but i mean there's plenty of people who carry it in a proportionate way and who you know quite frankly maybe heavy just because they work out and they have more muscle on their body than the average white woman you know what i'm saying also, let's not fail to mention the obesity rate in the United States of America is ridiculous anyway. This chart here shows the rates and based on the percentage of overweight or obese people in each particular state. The darker the state, the more overweight people that are there. And that's not all black women. And you got some people running around skinny fat, you know, where they're like skinny, but they are technically their body fat is, you know, pretty much the same or even more than someone who's overweight just because they don't exercise and they don't eat right. The weight ratio, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I get like guys are attracted to smaller women because you can kind of bounce them around and toss them about and things of that nature, but there's there's some benefits to having a woman who's more to love as well, and I'm not just talking about in the winter time, but the fact that, you know, our bodies tend to be soft, the curves you can get lost in tracing the outline of your silhouette. There's a lot of things that a curvy woman has that, you know, a skinny woman may not. Breasts. <laughs> and for those who are not like myself, <laughs> you may actually have butt too. I, I personally don't have one. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I do. But, um, you know, it's just, that was rude to me. Like, I, I feel like I'm starting to agree with some of the people. Like, yeah, if you're not really black, like you probably shouldn't be able to say this kind of stuff. I mean, especially stuff about chicken. Like, that's just rude. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't know. You guys definitely leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this whole thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Right, Mike? <laughs>